What's going on, YouTube? Back at it again. All right, so listen. You know, you're in your garage. You're trying to think of different things to try to help your family, prep your family for some end of the world type stuff. I like to sit in my man cave. Not only am I always looking at new tools and things to buy that's going to help me in the house, but I'm also looking at things that I've learned in the Marine Corps and how can I adapt that to helping my family. So today, let me give you a SHTF bartering kit tutorial and just how I set up my box. I have a couple of different uh, bartering kit locations. The one I'm gonna show you today is my mobile kit. So it's always in my truck. Um, so if, you know, when money no longer is an important thing or someone doesn't want money, they wanna trade for something different, this is the type of kit that you wanna have. I have a larger bartering location store elsewhere, right? So you never wanna have all your eggs in one basket. Um, so let's just break down into it and let me see what y'all think. All right, so first, let's talk about, once again, the case before we get started into the actual items themselves. You may have seen my uh, truck EDC video and like the emergency equipment that I carry in there. Keep an eye out because I'm gonna be updating that video soon. But once again, I'm using a another Pelican 1660 case. Hopefully you can see that. It's a 1660 case. Um, these things have just treated me so well that I might as well get another one. This one's in the olive drab color, right? So my other one's black. I've had that one for years. I picked this one up. I think I got this one on Amazon. I'll make sure I link it up below. Um, really good box itself. So, uh, it comes with the foam insert on top. So I decided to buy a divided insert for my case. So they sell a lot of different, um, you know, you can keep it as is and you can just kind of the Kaiser foam that's already included in there. You could just keep that and, you know, wing it if you want to, I guess. But I decided to buy these divided inserts. So when you open this up, first thing you see here, um, you know, you got your um, let's take you guys off so you can kind of see a little bit better. So you got your um, the dividers here on the left here on the left side. Um, I keep some of these. Uh, these camp showers right so some of these camp showers you can gravity fed um, solar showers so you can it has water for up to four four showers depending on how much water you use um, i keep a little bit of uh, products down here uh, that can be traded one by one but you know i don't use those i don't enjoy you know engage into those but you can trade those you know one by one and Sometimes people are going to want those in a pinch, so you can trade products like those. Here I keep MREs. I think I might do a video. Uh, let me guys know what you think. If you've never eaten an MRE, you've never seen an MRE put in use, um, you know, I think I might actually uh, open one up, show you how to eat an MRE, because it's a certain way you eat it. You can make an MRE last all day. Instead of eating three MREs in one day, you can eat one if you eat it you know, a certain way. I got chili mac with beef, which is pretty good. I got spicy Oriental chicken with rice down there. I got scrambled eggs and cheese, Western style. And then there's some scrambled eggs and cheese with bacon. These are cold weather MREs, so I know I don't have to worry about these staying in my truck and we having a deep freeze or something like that and these things being put to waste. You know, here I'm in Dallas, Texas. We did recently have that you know we had that freeze and if you didn't if you had regular mres those may have been ruined i keep extra clothing items some people may want to barter and trade uh, so you know i have some some nice uh socks here right so men's socks and uh just several different packs of men's socks in there i'm also going to eventually update that with uh like underwear and all that other good stuff so getting into the main compartment itself. Uh, so the main compartment itself, before we open this up, underneath, let's move this out the way. So underneath uh, the compartment, there's a little bit more storage. And, you know, within these dividers down here, I keep, uh, keep a lot of different things I think people may find interesting and find useful. So here I keep just little baby bottles of of liquor and, and alcohol, so Jim Beam. But they're just little, you know, two ounce bottles of liquor and, you know, in an emergency situation, I won't be drinking because it can dehydrate you, but hey, if you trade with somebody, they're stressed out, 
that may be their stronghold, maybe their vice, maybe whatever, maybe what they need in a pinch. Keep some 550 cord. Uh, depending on the item that they're barter that we're bartering for, I could either uh, trade this entire. Um, I think this is a hundred feet of. 550 cord so I could maybe trade this whole amount or I can trade it in sections so down here I keep uh, a lot of screws and nails so uh, you know I keep just different screws nails things that are going to be useful that someone may have a different project or whatever they can um, you know you can trade those and uh, and get a big benefit. I keep candy down here. People have kids or people like candy and you can trade that type of stuff out. I keep a few really cheap tarps I got at the dollar store. Um, they're 48 inches by 72 inches. You know, these tarps probably aren't good for anything more than if you're laying on a wet ground to keep you from having to like do work on a ground or something like that. But hey, why not, they're dollar tarps. Down here, I keep a bunch of magazines. You know, sometimes people, just want to be able to read or they have everything they think they want you know keep a dupont registry keep some handyman magazines those also those handyman mag magazines serve two purposes obviously you can trade them but also you can um you know they give t points and on how to do actual projects here in this ammo can i keep exactly what you would think would be in an ammo can i keep ammo in an ammo can I keep hard to come by ammo. I keep uh, common ammo, 38 special. You know, I have some um, 22 uh, long rifle, which is really hard to come by. Shotgun shells. I got 308. I got 380 rounds in here, nine millimeter. Just different things that I can trade with people. Most likely, they already have the boomstick. You know, most likely they already have the device that allows for them to use you know to protect themselves but they may be running low on ammo if they already have that device or whatever so why not just trade that out i have tons of it in my house and tons of it for my own personal stock so you know i can trade that extra here i have extra dial so there you'll see more of that in the top part of my case so this top part here it fits conveniently right on top as long as those tarps are pushed all the way down you can kind of see how these this fits right on top here. Uh, let me pull it up just so you can see a little bit better. And, you know, nice and covered up, you know, but uh, different compartments. These compartments can be shifted and moved around as you see fit. Got my soap going all over the place. Get this back where it belongs. I've been moving this around and slinging stuff around too much. But let's start here at the bottom right. So here at the bottom right, uh, you know, I have emergency drinking water. So with this emergency drinking water, it lasts for five years. I got this in 2020. So this is good until 2025. Um, basically, this is for that person that hasn't had water in over 24 hours. Um, this is potable drinking water. They can sip this. They can drink this. This is going to keep them okay, uh, you know, for a while. So this is if someone comes up to me, they haven't had water in a while. You know, most likely if it's really a big thing, you know, I'm just going to help them out and give them that. It's not really a reason to trade for that. But these potable agua tablets, right? So these tablets, these tablets themselves, you put two tablets into a quart of water. You shake it up after five minutes and then 30 minutes later, it's done killing 99.9% .9 of all parasites in the water. So the water may still taste weird if you got it from a river or a creek, but it won't be full of parasites and those things that can kill you and harm you and all that other good stuff. So there's 50 in that bottle. I can trade them two at a time. You know, in here is just a bunch of fire starting equipment. I got fire starters. I got some actual like fuses that you use with the fire starters. I have a magnesium fire starter. That's a, this will be a, this will be a prize trading item, right? Wouldn't just trade that lightly bunch of big lighters right those are you're not gonna it's having a big lighter doesn't mean you're gonna start a roaring fire but you know it's a good starting point all right so next on my list uh, I have an assortment of knives these are some really really inexpensive knives I found on Amazon you know uh, they probably don't have the sharpest blade I have them in blue <clears throat> I have them in gold I think I have them in red let's close this up what color is this one see if we got a different color here 
it's another gold. <sighs> okay, so a blue one. So just different colors, you know, these are just some items you can trade with somebody. You know, even if even if they don't have the best edge on them, you can sharpen them with a rock and it's better than not having a knife at all, right? I keep a lot of flashlights here. So I have different flashlights here. You know, I think these are all about th uh, 300 lumen flashlights. They're not the best flashlights in the world, you know, but you know, I have them here and then I also would trade the batteries, all right? So if you don't have the batteries, I have batteries in this case as well. So you're not gonna just get a two for one, you know, everything's up for trade. So we're moving to the next row here. I have a lot of different things like Tylenol, Advil. Um, we got some triple uh, antibiotic cream, which is like your Neosporin. I think it's just the knockoff Neosporin. You know, you can buy all this stuff at the dollar store and have a couple pills each. Each of these packages has one or two tablets, depending on the dosage, right? So these Tylenol tablets have two, the Advil tablets have one. You can trade those individually. Um, in this next pouch here, I keep an assortment of band-aids and gauze. So you can trade these out, you know, especially if somebody just has small cuts, they don't, something they want to keep covered, not get infected. Whoop, you know, got your band-aids here. So another item for, for that person that kind of has everything, but they're still willing to trade. You know, they, they kind of got everything. They're still willing to trade. Well, we got these K cups here of coffee and hot cocoa. You're trading out for hot cocoa and coffee. It's because you really want it and you're going to bust these open and, you know, boil some water and you're still going to figure out how to use those. So here's a prize, prize, prize trading items here. These are, um, so these are some heirloom seeds, right? These are some highly, highly, um fertile seeds these things will grow really well um you know i have some okra here i got some pumpkin seeds i got some uh spinach you know some spinach they can grow some lettuce that they can grow this stuff will last years and years in these pa packages sunflower seeds um corn uh brussels sprouts uh parsnips just a lot of different things that they can take and grow these would be highly sought after uh, trading items, one, because you can grow your own stuff, but two, they're going to produce seeds and they won't need you again. So you're not going to be able to trade every year for, you know, trade with that person every year for some seeds or whatever. So if you do decide to trade that type of item, you want to make sure you get the bang for the buck type of trade. So we're moving down a little bit to my the next row bunch of toothpaste uh it's coupled with this these toothbrushes here but just a bunch of toothpaste next uh areas is fishing gear so i have a bunch of weights i got tons of hooks um fishing line uh a couple of fake worms and stuff like that you can trade this here and if, if they're going to be an extent a part an extended amount of time where they can you know they can fish and and uh have those different avenues to go to you know have at it Soap, you know, highly sought after in the times. Some good old Dow soap. Uh, so, you know, whatever name brand rocks your boat. Tons of deodorant. I have tons of deodorant. Um, you know, people are always going to want to stay fresh. That's always a good thing. I have a playing card and I have some more playing cards as well that I'm going to stock up in here. You know, the family that may be busy or whatever. Underneath the playing cards is just some small trash bags these are four gallon trash bags these are good to keep certain items that you want to keep dry i also have contractor trash bags i just got to put them back in here those are going to be good for projects once again that you're on the ground and you don't want to get wet and stuff like that so we also have many things of duct tape so you know in my edc and in my uh truck emergency kit i have big things of duct tape but these are small things of duct tape they're they're wrapped up so the the actual adhesive around the tape itself won't be getting all funky and getting stuck to different parts of this, this case. So I'll take this whole case and keep it zipped up. All right, so tell me what you guys think. What do you have in your SHTF end of the world type trading kits? Uh, do you have anything extra? Do you have anything less? Should I add more? You know, do you want to see anything similar to this? And what about those MREs? Do you have MREs? Do you want to know how to eat an MRE for those that are kind of beginning having this type of stuff in their garage or in their vehicles? Keep your eyes out because soon I'm going to be reviewing 
I think it is a moon awning. Uh, it's a vehicle awning. It quickly attaches to your vehicle. It's going to be nice if you're camping, if you're at a game, if you're tailgating, whatever. It's a fast setup. Folks in Austin sent this out to me from Moon, so I appreciate that. So I'm going to be reviewing that soon. We're also going to be taking a look at my updated truck EDC. Stuff exploding out of all sorts of parts of my truck, which is going to be beneficial for usage and if I need to use it and last minute everyday type of stuff. And then we're going to have to talk about the tools, right? You're a DIYer or you want to have a set of tools in your truck. I'm talking power tools. What are those set first set of power tools that you should buy? Would I, how would I do it different? We're going to talk about that as well. 12 volt versus 18 volt. What I keep in my truck, what I keep in my garage. So new things on the way. In the meantime, I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button. I appreciate all that good stuff. In the meanwhile, I'll see you soon.